state is that sovereignty belongs to Allah and the commands of Allah and Messenger will be supreme. No legislation can be done repugnant to the Quran and the Sunnah. This is the constitutional basis. But the basis of the solidarity of the Ummah, homogeneity of the Ummah, is the respect and love of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just like you know, circle, if the circle has a center. Center of this polity and, and society is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. While the circumference of the circle, these are the commandments of Allah and His Messenger. You have to remain within this circle. If you have seen it, you have gone out of the pale of Islam. But to keep yourself united, homogeneous, you have to tie yourself with the center. And center is the personality of Muhammad sallallahu Respect him, love him, and never be disrespectful to him, even unintentionally. Don't raise your voices over the voice of the Prophet. And don't be loud in your speech to him as you are loud to one another. Because in this case there is a danger that all your good deeds are rendered fruitless or rewardless. This is such a big thing. This respect to Muhammad will deprive you of all the reward, all the reward of all your deeds that you have earned up till now. In the Lazina Yahuduna Swaka Vidda Rasulullah, verily those people who keep their voices low before the Messenger of Allah, they are the people whose hearts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tested for piety. Now taqwa will be in these hearts. For them is the forgiveness and a very mighty reward. Verily, those who come and call out for you from behind the private apartments, there were the mosque and small hujras apartments for the wives of the Prophet Now the Prophet is there in some hujra, maybe of Hazrat Aisha or Hazrat Hafsa, and somebody Bedouin Arab comes from outside and he calls, Oh Muhammad, Akhrujalena, come out, I want to meet you. Now this is disrespectful. Don't do this with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna ladhina yunaduna kami varai hujurat. Verily those who call out to you from behind the private apartments, aksarahum la yaqilun. Most of them don't have any sense. Because they are the Bedouins. They are coming from outside. They are the desert dwellers. They are not cultured. They are not civilized. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the next ayah, Allah forgives them. But in the future they must be careful. If they had waited, till that time that you would have yourself come out. You Actually it was his timetable when he is to come out, when he has to take rest. So according to your own timings, if they should have waited, that you, you come out yourself. Lakana khair lahum. This would have been much better for them. Wallahu ghafur rahim. Allah is forgiving and merciful. Because they didn't mean the insult. But only because they were uncivilized, uncultured people. They were doing that. So there is the advice, don't do it again. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to bring you to the book and punish you. Ya ayu alladhina amanu in jaakum fasikum bin abayin fatabayyanu. Oh you who believe... If some unrighteous person comes to you with a very important news, then verify it. Lest you should afflict a people in ignorance. And then you have to become remorseful on what you did. Somebody says, oh, that tribe is preparing to invade you. And you preempt and go and attack them. Because the news had come that they were preparing to attack. And then it might be that it came to the knowledge that the, the news, this was a humor, wrong humor. So what will be the result? You will be remorseful. You will be blamed. So when some, if some person who is very pious, dependable, if Abu Bakr brings some news, there is no need of verification. But if some person who is not righteous, 
If he is bringing to you some news, then verify them before you take any step. وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّ فِيكُمْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ And it, let it be known to you that within, amongst you is the messenger of Allah. What does it mean? He is Muhammad ibn Abdullah, ibn Abdul Muttalib, yes. But his real position is he is Muhammad Rasulullah. Don't take him to be a man like the other men. Any Tarshi, a Tarshi like other Tarshis. A Hashmi like other Hashmi, Hashemites, don't know. The real position which you should keep in front of you, in your mind, always, that he is the messenger of Allah. You know, this is very important. Because for Aisha, radiallahu anha, Muhammad was the husband. But at the same time, he was the messenger of Allah. She must have this position before her mind, before that position of husband and wife. In the same way, Abu Bakr was father-in-law of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What does it mean? Muhammad was like a son to him, son-in-law. But no, 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 no. He is Rasulullah. So you keep this position of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in view. Walamu anafikum Rasulullah. It should be known to you that you have the, amongst you the Messenger of Allah. Now you tiyo kum fi kasiri min amri laadittum. If he were to obey you in many matter, you would certainly be in trouble. Don't, don't want that he, your opinion he should take. No, no. You should always wait. What is his opinion? Don't force upon him your opinions. You should also wait so that his opinion comes forward. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made iman, faith, very beautiful in your hearts. وَزَيَّنَهُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ He made it very beautiful. And it is endeared to you. وَكَرَّهَا إِلَيْكُمُ الْكُفْرَ وَالْفُسُوكَ وَالْإِسْيَانِ And he has made hateful to you the disbelief, the wickedness, and the disobedience. أُولَائِكَ هُمُ الرَّاشِدُونَ Verily, they are the rightly guided. This is the word, رَاشِدُونَ الْخُلَفَاءُ الرَّاشِدُونَ The four pious caliphs. And all the sahaba are rashidoons. This is about the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is a bounty from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and a blessing. Wallahu Alimun Hakim, he is the knower, the wise. Now another instruction. If two parties, two groups from among the Muslims, Mu'mins, believers, they fight with each other. Anyhow, they are human beings. There can be differences, there can be conflicts. 